Thrustmaster TLCM or Fanatec CSL with the Load Cell Kit. Simple premise, which one is right for you? But before we jump in, I should let you know that Fanatec supplied the CSL pedals for review and Race Anywhere were kind enough to send me the Thrustmaster TLCMs and I have affiliate programs with both companies. Both sets of pedals share a lot in common, so this handy table will suffice for the similarities, but it's the differences that make this fight interesting. The load cell in the TLCMs is rated at 100 kilos versus Fanatec 60. Big deal? Maybe. But the rating of a load cell in isolation doesn't really tell you all that much, and it's sort of akin to measuring car's performance by the size of the gas tank. As for brake pedal resistance, the Fanatec CSL load cell kit features a fixed ratio elastomer stack to provide that all-important pushback against your mighty right foot, whereas the TLCMs come with an assortment of springs that you can use to vary the brake pressure. And speaking of brake pressure, this is where things get interesting. There is a clear winner here, and it's not the pedal with the big number. The Fanatec CSL load cell brake only has one setup, but that setup does feel really good. Thanks to the elastomer stack, you get an incredibly consistent feel to the brake pedal, which makes finding the braking limit, modulating and coming off of the pedal highly intuitive. Conversely, the TLCMs come with six springs which you can mix and match to find the best pedal feel for yourself. But, and it is a big but, none of them provide as much resistance as the elastomers in the Fanatec offering, and I'll prove that in a moment. But before I get carried away, I should mention that there is a preload spring on the TLCMs, which really is just a very low resistance spring that gives you just a little bit of initial squish to the pedal. Thrustmaster have provided a set of washers to disable this, which I would definitely recommend on all but the lightest of pedal setups. But if like most users and you end up going the other way and opting for a heavy brake pedal, then things do get a bit odd. There's this weird situation where you can compress the hardest combination of the springs all the way in, but the load cell only reads 75% pressure. You can of course push harder to get to 100%, but then you end up with a pedal that feels like it has two distinct stages, the squishy sprung part, and then a harder push at the end where you're just leaning into the load cell. It's a subtle feeling, but it's there nonetheless, and it does impact pedal feel, particularly if you're modulating around that sort of transitional space between the two stages. You can combat this by turning down the maximum brake force to match the spring combination, but then you're only ever using a fraction of the load cell depending on what your spring setup is. Of course, that may actually be the best option for some drivers. If you're not fussed about having a lot of resistance when you brake, then this just won't be a problem at all. And there are multiple spring setups you can use to tweak this to your liking. But if you want a nice resistive brake pedal with a consistent feel throughout its travel, which is definitely my preference, then the Fanatec is much more in line with that philosophy. And then there's that load cell rating I mentioned earlier. In the case of the Fanatec, you're pushing against a 60 kilogram load cell in a fairly straight line. Though, of course, the pedal does act like a lever, providing some mechanical advantage. The TLCMs, on the other hand, have this odd right angle sort of compound lever setup, which it uses to convert the mostly horizontal pedal travel into mostly vertical movement in the spring stack and load cell. And it looks to my eyes, at least, that this setup may offer more mechanical advantage. My point is that those load cell rating figures really can't be compared without taking the design of the pedal into account. So in lieu of any mathematics, I thought I'd buy a load gauge and do some definitely not at all scientific testing to see how firm the brake pedals really are. The short story is that the TLCM brake pedal, at its firmest setup, provides around 20 kilograms of resistance to your foot pressure, whereas the Fanatec pedal is around 30 kilos. Now, there are a few caveats here, the first and biggest being that these numbers really mean nothing at all outside of this side-by-side -side comparison. On top of that, there's the fact that the springs in the TLCM reach their maximum compression at around 75% of the maximum pedal load, so it would be reasonable to assume that there's maybe another 25% resistance before you max out the load cell, though I really wouldn't try to extrapolate any numbers from that, but you know, you get my point. The key takeaway here is that the Fanatec pedal, even with the lower rated load cell, actually provides more resistance at the pedal. That all being said, I was able to control the carb well on the brakes with either pedal setup. The Fanatec was more intuitive and thanks to the additional resistance, fine modulation of brake pressure was much easier to achieve. And for me, the feeling of coming off the pedal was better as well, but that may be because I'm just more used to elastomer pedal setups these days. And to put things in perspective, both pedal sets are a massive step up from the entry level offerings from the big three wheel manufacturers. And if you're making the upgrade, then most people would probably be happy enough with either choice. But if I had to choose between the two pedal sets based on brake pedal feel alone, I'd pick the Fanatec CSL. And for me, it wins this round by quite a margin. Thankfully, we can keep this section pretty short. Both of the offerings feature fairly lightweight throttle and clutch pedals, and neither really boast any impressive feel. They work, and they work just fine for a job that doesn't require the same kind of nuance feel as the brake pedal. 
The Fanatec pedals have a little bit more travel, which translates to perhaps just a tiny bit more fidelity, though that is at the expense of the pedals being lighter underfoot, so that fidelity is slightly harder to control. But it's pretty close, honestly, and I'm going to give this one to Thrustmaster on the basis that I really dislike lightweight feeling pedals, and there's a slightly less light. The design philosophies of each set of pedals couldn't be further apart. The Fanatec pedals make use of minimal parts made from quality materials and they're finished to a very high standard. The steel pedal assemblies in particular are really nicely made and finished. However, the pedals come with plastic pedal faces as stock and I'm really not a fan of them. And if you feel the same way, then Fanatec sells an upgrade kit for much nicer brushed metal pedals. Conversely, the TLCM feels like a more mass-produced product, featuring a plastic base, cast metal pedal arms and a nice metal tread plate and pedal faces. I have to say, the finishing on this example was a little on the rough side. The stamped pedal faces had some moderately sharp edges and the pedal assemblies feature some pretty gnarly tooling marks, which I'm really hoping is just isolated to this example. Advantage Fanatec. The TLCMs allow you to adjust the height and the left-right alignment of the pedal faces, as well as their angle, which is really useful if you have a sim rig with a fixed angle pedal deck. On top of that, you can of course adjust the brake pedal weight and the preload spring. With the CSL pedals, you can adjust the pedal face height and the distance between the main pedal assemblies, so Thrustmaster is the clear winner here. When it comes to price, at the moment they're both the same, but with the Fanatec pedals, I would highly recommend upgrading to the metal pedal faces, which does add another 35 euros. So now we have more of a value trade-off. I feel with the Fanatec pedals that you're getting a better brake pedal and better build quality at the cost of adjustability, adaptability, and of course the extra actual cost. Which represents the best value for money then? Well, actually, you're the only person that can answer that. Both sets of pedals have advantages and disadvantages that may align better with some users. So if your main motivation is obtaining the best load cell brake pedal you can at a sensible price point, then I have to recommend the Fanatec CSL pedals with the load cell upgrade kit. The brake pedal feel is the better of the two, and if you can live with the fewer adjustments, then I think it's the clear winner in that regard. But if you're not using a dedicated sim rig or maybe something like a wheel stand, then I think the adjustability of the TLCM spring setup will make it a better choice. And as far as I'm concerned, if your pedals are gonna be on the carpet, then Thrustmasters are the only sensible choice as the Fanatec pedals offer just too much resistance and they're gonna slide all over the place. If I had to choose between the two, it probably won't surprise you to learn that I'd opt for the Fanatec setup. For me, the difference in brake pedal feel is significant enough to justify the higher price, and the downsides of this setup really aren't deal breakers. 